Hello everyone, welcome to Shomu's Biology and there is a lot of confusion regarding the new rules set by UGC. Yes, UGC has set the new rules for uh, being eligible as an assistant professor in colleges and universities. So what is the rule? Uh, professor Jagdish Kumar already mentioned this rule with two separate tweets. So I'm going to combine both the tweets in here. First what happens, so this is uh, earlier what happens earlier and this is what will be happening now. So earlier what happened is that if you have a PhD are you eligible eligible or not yes you are eligible for assistant professor if you had ls plus phd that was the criteria to make you eligible for a permanent tenure position right if a phd without ls in that case still you can get a chance to be a professor earlier but it depends on the institute but if you have ls only and no phd in that case, you were not eligible to become an assistant professor in colleges and universities. Remember that. LS only people didn't get the chance. If you have LS and PhD, you'll get the chance. You have PhD, you get the chance. But this time, with the new rule applicable from 1st July, remember 1st July 2023, this new rule is set that yes, obviously, if you have PhD, if you have LS plus PhD, in that case you are eligible that is exactly like earlier but if you have ls only you are still eligible if you are phd only you are still eligible for assistant professor position in permanent positions remember all of them are permanent tenured position in colleges and universities yes so earlier you need to have ls and phd to become a permanent position uh, for assistant professor now if you have ls only you are eligible if you have phd only you are still eligible for that so minimum criteria is set for ls that is either net ls or state eligibility test set or slet any of these examination uh, certificate holders are eligible as an assistant professor in permanent tenured position for colleges and universities if you are phd only then this rule is exempted so you don't need to follow this rule if you have only phd still you are capable to become an assistant professor i believe this is going to help you if you like this video please hit the like button no more confusion share this video with your friends subscribe to this channel see you then so what are you waiting for start preparing for csi net examination if you, because if you qualify ls still you get a good chance and ls cutoff is always low so you can join our coaching to get a better preparation strategy perhaps okay it's your choice thank you bye